welcome you to the beautiful coast of the Gambia and the 17th African Security Watch Awards. Uh, the Chairman of Board of Trustees couldn't be here personally, but he has sent a message to all the awardees this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, a few days ago, I welcome you to this conference in our life. I'm here again at the end of the conference, and I will. Many of you who perform well for the institutions and for your countries and for Africa at large, and to congratulate you for the awards we have received. I do hope all of us have learned something and put in something to this conference so that our world countries and institutions where we work will be better off. I want this to spray you on and to encourage many more others to strive to make wherever you work, whatever country you live in, a better place than it is today. I do hope that we meet again, God willing, and shall share our ideas together, make Africa and the world a much better and peaceful place. Once again, thank you and God bless us all. We're here to celebrate excellence. We're here to celebrate those who have been on the field to make sure things are done properly and done right. Chief. Ambassador T.Y. Buratai is an exceptional leader who cherishes every opportunity to engage in intellectual endeavors. His passion for reading and research knows no bounds. No wonder he is being awarded African security and leadership icon. The award for the African security and leadership icon goes to His Excellency, Lieutenant General Ambassador Tuku Yusufa Buratai, retired, CFR, NAM, GSS, PSC, Daga. He's the former Chief of the Army Staff and a Nigerian Ambassador. His meeting with security agencies is yielding success. Several criminal hideouts have been raided, robberies have been foiled, and arrests made. The outlaws are finding out the hard way that Aquibum State is not an easy take after all. No wonder he is being awarded the best security and safety state governor in West Africa. Nigeria's best security and safety state governor in West Africa, ladies and gentlemen, the executive governor of Akwaibom State. A round of applause for His Excellency, Mr. Udom Gabriel Emmanuel. A round of applause, let's celebrate him quickly. dedicating this award to the gallant members of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, particularly those who have paid the Superman Prize or in one way or the other, you know, were wounded in action. On behalf of the Chief of the Air Staff, M. Marshal Olada Yamao, I wish you appreciate the Africa Security Watch and her annual awards and conferences. Uh, this award means a lot to us because it serves as a reflection of uh, the performance of the Chief of the Air Staff who has motivated all the personnel in the Air Force to achieve so much in less than two years. I have also asked you to dedicate this award to so the security intelligence community of Nigeria because it is their able support in keeping a private safe that has resulted in the recognition that has given him this award. So he has told him to thank you most sincerely. All this I 
Kilku kolejców, a ci, którzy na was tak mówili o z nich, widać im tam rosły do Kajeszy, i jest to po. I tak, 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 tak. A na łączu objawy co mamy staw Kank, our brothers, and organizers of this award. That in general we will not feel in Nigeria, we will not feel in West Africa, we will not feel in Africa. Thank you very much. The Nigerian Navy has continued to live up to its expectations as the tip of the spare. The Navy has spared no resource to see to the optimal performance of the service members. No wonder he is being awarded Most Outstanding Naval Chief in Africa in 2021 and 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chief of Naval Staff, Nigerian Navy, Nigeria. A round of applause for the most outstanding naval officer in Africa 2021-2022, Vice Admiral Awal Zobeiru Gambo, CFR. A round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. of the Nigerian Navy. Thank you, as we say in the Nigerian Navy, all went together. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think my job has been made very, very simple. It's just to thank each and every one of you not only for being physically present here, but for all those who have contributed one way or the other to the success of the 17th edition of Security Watch Africa Annual Conference and Awards Ceremony. We want to thank you most sincerely from the bottom of our hearts and wish you journey message to our various destinations. Thank you and God bless you all.